We're entering the wetlands from the east gate on the extension of Louisiana South, just north of the Blanton Crossing, heading back towards the uh, cell tower that we can see from the uh, Boyd's headquarters. I'm looking for the pumping station. may not be here. I think it's probably the one down to the left, a little bit further south, which is the, uh, there's a gas trans, natural gas transmission line pumping station. We're getting to the uh, center of the established uh, wetlands here, uh, walking north uh, on the uh, road we're about to come to is the uh, meeting spot for the walkers of wetland learners. Looks like I see a beehive. This is not a four-wheel drive vehicle, so I'm going to, uh, I see signs of life down here. So we'll sign off for a minute until we get down to the uh, natural gas pumping station. Here we can see the uh, start of a burn from the uh, road down the middle of the existing wetlands. The wind is uh, coming from the south, so we can see the uh, smoke carrying off to the north. Got at least two uh, runabouts here, all-terrain vehicles. I think I'm going to hold up here because he's obviously coming towards me. I want to give him some space. See if we can zoom in. If we look back towards the Wakarusa here, we can see the uh, gas pumping station where we've tentatively parked our cars to try to stay out of harm's way. 840, we can see that the uh, fire has just been ignited. The garden's working its way around the perimeter of uh, the gas pumping station. Definitely feeling some heat here now. I'm going to back off a bit. We have a uh, gas company observation truck at the uh, midpoint north end looking towards the uh, hill, Mount Oriad campus, now being masked by the uh, smoke. Our weather observer photographer is now out here to the uh, northeast getting some additional shots. You can see the uh, water tower in the background for a landmark. Looks like uh, East Lawrence over by the uh, fairgrounds. Here, one more sweep now from the uh, fairgrounds looking northeast past the weather observer looking north along the uh, Haskell Baker wetlands. Access road to the north, Mount Oriad mask in the background as the uh, south easterly wind uh, blows this uh, fire towards the uh, northeast. We can see the uh, farmhouse in the distance where the uh, mitigation wetlands observation post is located. We're looking at a uh, fire that was set closest to the uh, firm by the uh, Wakarusa banks. It's now moving under its own steam uh, from the uh, southeast towards the uh, northwest. Roger Boyd indicated that the uh, fire essentially developed its own wind, has a little bit of a uh, arrow effect as the uh, leading edge paves the way for the following flames. You can also see over here on the other side of the gas transmission station with its uh, buffer strip mode, uh, another uh, hot spot, again moving away from the fence line. Now looking westward along the uh, north bank of the uh, Wakarusa, south of the uh, Clinton Dam, 
can see that uh, John and Jordan, I believe, have uh, already ignited the uh, blaze to take out the woody growth uh, further upstream from where I'm standing on the back side of the, uh, the flames that are now marching across towards the northwest. We got lots of smoke looking directly north and we pan back uh, to the uh, natural gas pumping station where uh, Roger Boyd is uh, uh, standing fire guard uh, with the uh, gas company observer. I've just walked out on a little mowed island of uh, buffer uh, to get a uh, panoramic view of the uh, Baker Wetlands burn still underway from a slightly different perspective. Almost smells like fall, although it's uh, early spring. Uh, beavers have uh, dammed up some of the uh, outlets so there is still some water over the road in the uh, north part of the uh, wetland so that uh, dam can be uh, loosened or eliminated to allow natural or unnatural drainage from the area. We're at the uh, southeast corner of the uh, Baker wetlands near the uh, Louisiana extension crossing of the Wakarusa River. Off on the horizon you can see Fraser Hall, the hill, also known as Mount Oread. Uh, the uh, Oregon California trail wagons uh, crossed a little bit east of here, <coughs> continued north across uh, this flat area uh, towards the Natural Spring at 17th and Tennessee, the Moppin Tour Mansion, uh, where they refilled their kegs before going up over the hill, crossing uh, the crest somewhere near the Cairo. Dr. Roger Boyd on the uh, southwest corner of the uh, Baker Wetlands for the uh, spring burn of the uh, wooded area. Make sure the uh, woody growth doesn't burn out or doesn't crowd out the uh, natural grasses on this. Uh, this is very similar to what the uh, Native Americans did uh, to uh, protect and preserve the uh, habitats for uh, uh, diverse wildlife uh, when this was still Indian Territory and uh, Kansa Territory. The wind is coming from the uh, southwest excuse me, southeast, blowing towards the northwest. See uh, John Boyd driving the mule uh, where they're igniting the uh, main fire after the uh, backfire break that Roger's setting. And they're heading towards the uh, water tower that looks like it might be the one at uh, Hillcrest uh, near the uh, Iowa crossing of the uh, Oregon-California Trail on the uh, watershed ridgeline between the Caw Valley and the Wakarusa watershed. We're looking from the Wakarusa River uh, up to the uh, glacial moraine known as Mount Oriad. 